hello guys hello uh, we are going to look at some ideas in euclidean geometry actually concerning the theorem that says line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to court bisect the court so i've got the situation one i wrote s1 where i'm going to talk about the first situation i'm calling it situation one what i want you to understand in this situation is that we have got, let me put M here, is that we have got OM, which is a line from center. So you have a line from center. And the line from the center is going to the court. This line OM, the line from center O, is going towards the court AB. So it's we say line OM, going towards AB. So OM is line from the center. And what I want you to understand again is that this OM is perpendicular to AB. So you have got these two conditions. You have got a line from the center going to the court and that line is also perpendicular to the court. This 90 degrees here state that is the one that indicates that OM is perpendicular to AB. Now, because of these two conditions, line coming from the center and line being perpendicular, that cause A that cause AB to be bisected. Actually, cause AM to be equals to MB. So, what I want us to do is to prove that AM equals to MB. And proving this theorem, it's very easy. It's very very easy to to prove that AM equals to MB. We are still focusing on situation number one. But before we prove, let's talk a bit about triangles that are congruent. Because we will need this idea of congruent triangles. Let's say you've got triangle A, B, C, which is congruent to triangle D, E, F. If the two triangles are congruent, triangle 1 and triangle 2, if the two triangles are congruent, you can be guaranteed that these two triangles has got sides that are equal and also angles that are equal. For example, with angle, we can say angle A equals to angle T. If the two triangles are congruent, one of the angles in triangle ABC is equal to one of the angles in triangle DEF. And also the angle B, every angle must be equal to another angle in the second triangle. For example, angle B must be equivalent to another angle in, this tri in the second triangle, in this triangle. Angle B is equivalent. In this case, I'm saying B is equivalent to E. It can be even equivalent to F, but now I'm saying B is equivalent to E. And C is equivalent to F. So. Triangles that are congruent, I mean triangles that are that are congruent, yes, they have corresponding sides that are equal. I mean corresponding, I was talking about angles here. They have corresponding angles that are equal. Not only corresponding angles that are equal. Triangles that are congruent also have corresponding sides that are equal. So you can be guaranteed that, for example, if you pick AB in the triangle ABC, you know that AB must be equivalent to one of the sides in this uh, triangle. In this case, AB is equivalent to DE. And AC is equivalent to DF. Meaning that every time when you pick one side in the first triangle, it must have an equal side in the second triangle. One of the side, a triangle that you are, I mean the side that you are picking. Once you say AB from triangle ABC, that AB must be equal to one of the side in the triangle DEF. This is the ideas of congruent triangles. They have corresponding angles that are equal and corresponding sides that are equal. So this idea will be very important when we prove that AM equals to MB in, in this first situation 
where we talk about a line that comes from the center of a circle to the court being perpendicular to the court bisect the court when we prove that am equals to mb in this case when we are going to prove that am equals to mb the ideas of congruent triangle it's important so let's prove let's start by proving now what we do we construct a line we join the line oa in this case you can see that this line is a radius and we also join the line ob you can see that this line also is a radius. Why is the line OA a radius? This is a line coming from the center. In this case, O is the center, guys. Is OA is a line coming from center O to the circumference at A. And the line OB is the line coming from the center O and to the circumference at B. So actually, this line OA and OB, they are equal. So when, when you prove that AM equals to MB, you construct the line OA, you construct the line OB, they are both radius, and those lines you have constructed are equal. So I will start by looking at this triangle. I will call it triangle on the left one. Triangle on the right, I will call it triangle two. These are right angles triangle. This angle here also is 90. Now I start by saying OA equals to OB. I've picked one of the sides in the first triangle on my left triangle OMA. I'm saying it's equals to one of the sides in the second triangle, referring to triangle OMB, OA equals to OB. Why? These are the equal radii. They are both radius, so they are equal. Now I will say, let me pick OM. In triangle OMA, I'm picking OM. But I realize that if I go to triangle OMB, I still have OM. So we call it the common side. We have the side which is found in both these two triangles. Common side. And you see that you have the angle OM. A, I'm referring to angle M in the triangle OMA. I'm claiming that it's equals to the angle M in OMB. They are both equivalent to 90 degrees. Remember that angles on a straight line, they add to 180. So if this angle, this side is 90, which is my angle OMB, it means even this one, this side is 90, which is my angle OMA. OMA equals to OMB. Now, in this case, I've used, this was side. I said I've got two corresponding sides that I, I have corresponding side that are equal. Even here, I say I have corresponding sides that are equal. Here, I have corresponding angles that are equal. Now, I say, therefore, the triangle O M A is congruent to the triangle O M B. Now, if 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 triangle O A M is congruent to triangle O M B, it means it has got corresponding sides are equal. And I've already said that O A equals to O B, meaning that O A in a triangle O M A correspond with OB in triangle OMB and OM correspond with OM. Automatically AM is corresponding with MB. So AM and MB, therefore AM and MB, they are equal. Proven. I have proven that AM is equivalent to MB. This is the first situation where we gave you a line from the center of a circle and that line is perpendicular. We told you that the line is perpendicular. The first situation will come this way. We'll put the center. We put the, a court and we tell you that this is 90 degrees. Automatically, if it's M, this AM is equal to MB. That was in the first situation. I want us to go to the second situation now. 
you need to be careful of what is given. In the second situation, they did not tell you that this angle here is 90 degrees. They just told you that, let me put, let me put M here. They, they actually told you that AM is equals to MB. This line here and this line here, they are simply saying AM equals to MB. This automatically means that the angle here, this automatically actually means that OM is perpendicular to AB. Meaning that the angle here is 90. When you see a line coming from the center of a circle going to the court which has been already bisected, like this. Let me say you have a circle, you have a center, and the line is going to the court, but this court, you are told that it's been bisected. This part equals to this part. This automatically means the angle here is 90 degrees. So this angle here should be 90 degrees. But I want us to prove there that OM bisect AB. You can go to and check the question of November 2022. This was there in the exam where you are required to prove that a line from the center of a circle which has bisected the court is perpendicular to that court. So now we need to show that this angle here is 90 degrees. How do we do it? The same manner. We construct OA, which is a radius, and we construct a line which on a line OB, which is also a radius. So we, same approach, OA equals to OB, Y equal radii, and then AM, in this case, let me start with OM again. OM equals to OM. This is common side. And you see that AM equals to MB. In this case, is given. So you have followed the idea of side, side, side. So now you can claim that the triangle O triangle O M A is congruent to the triangle O M B because the triangles are congruent. It means even their corresponding angles are equal. In this case, let's go to the triangles. This angle here is equal to the angle here. Let me say this one equals to this one. And this angle here is equal to the angle here, and this angle here equals to the angle this side. So, let me call the angle here, I, I hopefully you will see it, I want to erase and call the angle, let me just call it, sorry, it appears as if I've raised the very important line here, a quote, there was a line here, okay, I want to call this one M1, and M2. And I say M1 and M2, I know they are equal because they are corresponding angles of congruent triangle. Corresponding angles of congruent triangles are equal. So since OMA is congruent is congruent to OMB, M1 equals to M2. These are the corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. And then I know, I know that M1 plus M2, it's 180. This angles M1 and M2, they are on a straight line. So angle on a straight line add up to 180. M1 plus M2, it's 180. And M1, remember that M1 equals to M2. So where there is M1, I can put M2. M2 plus M2, it's 180. Therefore, M2 plus M2 is 2M2. 2M2 is 180. Divide both sides by 2. M2 is 90. So I've proven that the angle here is 90. So when the angle between OM and MB is 90, it means OM bisect. I mean, OM 
is perpendicular to AB. 